As useful as iron is, the corrosion of iron has a major impact on the economics every year. Uh, costs approximately $150 billion a year. Approximately 20% of all iron produced is used to replace rusted iron. These figures are probably a number of years out of date by now, and it just to give you a feeling for how much it actually matters. Uh, this is a review of corrosion in terms of oxidation reduction for Chemistry 12 and an analysis of the process of corrosion in electrochemical terms. Now, in order for corrosion to occur, you need metal, uh, for example, iron, water, and oxygen. Now, we're going to look at first uh, at the actual reaction. And the actual reaction is here. Uh, we have a piece of metal uh, here. And the piece of metal that is becoming rusty acts as the wire in an electrochemical cell. Uh, the drop of water, uh, shown up here in blue, has two areas where reactions occur. One is the oxygen-rich region on the outside that uh, has dissolved oxygen gas from the atmosphere. Uh, this is the cathode region. It gains electrons in this reaction, the reaction of oxygen to produce hydroxide. Down here in the middle of the water droplet, we have the oxygen poor region. In this region, uh, uh, iron uh, solid reacts to produce iron plus two and gives off electrons. So this is the anode region where oxidation takes place. As you can see, the electrons that are given off are passed through the metal itself to this other reaction. So again, the metal acts as its own wire, an electrochemical cell. And this region in between the oxygen-rich and oxygen-poor areas functions as the salt bridge. Saltier water, uh, salt water naturally would rust metal a little bit faster. Now this isn't the complete reaction. Um, this iron plus two, as you can see, uh, uh, comes out. It's dissolved into a solution. It hasn't yet formed rust, as the characteristic uh, rust that we see, until it reacts with hydroxide. Down here, uh, the two-step process then begins in which iron plus two reacts with hydroxide to produce iron hydroxide, iron two hydroxide. That will then react further with oxygen and water to produce iron three hydroxide or classic rust uh, with a variable number of waters attached. Here I've just put dot H2O, but there could be one, two, three. The different colors of our iron from almost black to light red all depend on how much water is attached. So it is essentially a two-step oxidation where iron solid goes to iron plus two, and then iron plus two goes to iron plus three with the hydroxide. So this is how um, uh, iron rusts. How can one protect iron from this rusting? Uh, well, the most common method, as shown in this uh, picture, is to seal it with paint. Uh, that will protect the iron if it's a, a complete seal against any water or oxygen. Uh, anything else that would seal it, sealing it in plastic, uh, coating it in oil, or another hydrophobic substance, uh, will seal it against water and oxygen. You could also plate it with a corrosion-resistant res metal. Um, and so anything that will seal it away uh, will protect it against rusting. Now, there is one method of protection um, that does not involve sealing it, but involves another oxidation reduction reaction. And that is known as cathodic protection, or having a sacrificial anode. And that is the process of protecting a substance from unwanted oxidation by connecting it to a substance having a higher tendency to oxidize. Uh, for example, boats will have this, where zinc metal is bolted below the water line of an iron ship. Or when using iron, uh, using galvanized iron, which is uh, iron that has been coated in zinc. Now, why this works, works I've taken an excerpt of the uh, oxidation reduction table, or uh, the table of standard reductions. We have ox oxygen here that reacts with our iron. And our iron, uh, that reaction would go, but if zinc is around, as it is, if we bolt it, um, this actually is a stronger reducing agent. Uh, the reducing agent, it's uh, minus 0.45 of your iron. 
but it's minus 0.76 if you're zinc. Another way of saying this is that zinc loses electrons more easily in iron than iron, so it will react first. Uh, zinc is a stronger reducing agent, or that zinc and oxygen, oxygen have a larger cell potential. So the oxygen and the zinc will react first. And that is the Chemistry 12 review for corrosion.